Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. Steph has two retired greyhounds, and when you adopt a greyhound, you come home with a greyhound, and you come home with... Their muzzle. So they wear these when they're with other greyhounds because they can tend to get really excited, so this helps just protect all the dogs, even though they're not aggressive dogs at all. Let me clarify that. I have two muzzles now because I have my two dogs, and I wanted a way to display these to really kind of remember their racing days because they both still love to run. So Steph came up with a really quick and easy DIY to, oh, as a way to display these keepsakes. But when we got started, we ran into a lot of obstacles. So we thought, you know, why don't we share some of the ways that our DIY projects go wrong? And then also kind of maybe give you some ideas of uh, how to how to keep some of those kind of random items you might have that you want to display and uh, be able to, to remember. So take a look as we get started. First, we looked through our scrap wood pile and found two perfect boards that we could glue together and bonus, they already had finish. The skinnier piece was just a little bit long, so we marked it and cut it to size on the miter saw. We got out our clamps and used our sandpaper to rough up each edge that was going to be glued. And proceeded to the quick step of adding glue. But then... Did you do that on purpose? Did I do that? I did not did do that. Did I do that? You did that. Oh wow. my gosh. Why was I not even attached? Did I eat too much on there? <laughs> I think that was too much. Too much. I'm glad we had the silicone pad under that. Oh. I'm glad you found that. Oh my word. No worries. We used this glue and brushed it on and cleaned up the spill and tried to save what we could into our silicone glue storage container and used baby wipes to clean up the rest. Now we can clamp them together. Once that was dry, I put the muzzles in place to determine where the hooks should be placed. We set up a straight edge and mom marked the holes and I drilled pilot holes and attached the hooks. These are a little bit of a challenge as the hook part gets in the way of the drill bit. And as you can see, as I'm attaching the hooks, you can visibly see that the hooks just are not level and we did not know why this happened. But actually, as I was editing this video, I realized that these are actually two different hooks and they have two different hole spacing. But at the time, that was not obvious to us. So we took off the right hook, moved it down a little bit, and now they are nice and level. Next, we turn over the board to add the two sawtooth hangers to the back. We placed one and made sure the measurement was the same on the second one. These are our favorite sawtooth hangers by the company Ook. They have the nails already attached, which makes it really easy to add to a frame or board. It was at this point that we realized both muzzles had a very, shall we say, doggy scent to them. So we started by using soap and water to, with a little ammonia to clean them up, but it still did not produce a wonderful smell. So we moved on to sealing each one in a gallon sized plastic bag with baking soda to absorb the smell and left the bags in the sun for a day. But this did seem to do the trick. With the letters, I'm gonna use our Cricut Maker. I picked out a fun font and created the text, then selected my material of vinyl. I'm using the fine point blade on the Cricut Maker and push the start button. As this was cutting, we noticed that Tosh was very interested in the sound it was making. And it was at this point we discovered she was very interested, but nothing was damaged from Tosh's curiosity. With the vinyl cut out, I proceeded to weed the design by removing the excess pieces. Then put a transfer sheet on top, which allowed me to expose the sticky back of the vinyl. I eyeballed the placement and removed the transfer sheet slowly. In just a few steps, we were able to get the perfect lettering with no stenciling or painting needed. If you're on the fence about getting a Cricut Maker, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite tools. And with that done, I placed it on the wall and drew a line across the entire top, then measured how far down the sawtooth hangers were and marked that on the wall. I added a couple of nails and placed it on the wall. 
adding the muzzles and done. This is a perfect way to remember my dog's racing career and to display a cool and unique item. And if you want to see what winning looks like for a retired Greyhound, this is it. FYI, they are always super helpful on all our projects. What we learned. So as you can see, we had a glue issue, we had a smelly muzzle issue, we had a hook issue, and we had a jumping on the table dog issue. But with all of those, the project is done and I'm so happy with it. <laughs> We've actually done a few things to store those kind of keepsakes, and we have one right here in my garage, and Steph did. And I made a box to hold all my Broadway playbills, so we'll put a link to both of those. And if you have some kind of keepsake, doesn't have to be dog related, anything related, um, that this maybe give you an idea of what you can do with it, let us know in the comments below. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.